think I found the problem. Welcome to the sixth episode of my first satisfactory playthrough. In this video series you can find all the highlights compiled out of the playthrough stream on my Twitch channel. You can catch me live on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. You can find the link in the description. If you enjoyed the video or have something to say, you know how YouTube works and all that jazz. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Welcome to the sixth episode of Satisfactory. Today, we're pretty much are planning to start building rubber and plastic production. So start to work on with oil and such. Yeah, and we will see how much of that we manage to complete. But actually before that, I don't know if we should actually go and try to find some deuterium or We'll see. Let's just get into the gameplay, I guess. So... Definitely would want to work on getting some Caterium to get these upgrades going. So that would be something we could focus on. Or well, the other thing is that we could focus on getting the plastics done. Um, let's actually see oil extractor. It requires motors. Okay. Quite sure we're quite low on motors since we have pretty much used them all. Actually, motors are stored here on the last one. Yeah, we only have three plus two. Um... So yeah, I think that pretty much means that we need to start working on the Caterium. So we need... Maybe two or three miners. So let's make those. Oh, let's just search for some Caterium and... Quite sure it's somewhere that direction. There we go. Oh, you can already see it. Cannot wait to get the double ramps to make this a bit easier. A whole bunch of bees here. Come on, come over here. Get over here. Or how was it? Okay. Got some of these. Then uh, let's go get that power slug, I think. But before that, let's hit the vape. Okay. Hello. Damn it, I'm missing so much. There we go. Uh, bah. Can we jump this? There we go. So it was on top of this rock. Yep. Jump this rock. Yeah, you cannot take it like that. Maybe we can jump it so we don't need to build stuff. So, I'm thinking we have the belt over there, so we could build the belt going towards that direction. Uh, yep. Something like that. Probably still need to... Actually, no. Let's build the... No, merger. 
there. Then mark to your left. Let's try to get it a bit about this height. Like that. Then... Ah, we just ran out. Of course. <laughs> well. Then we need to go and get some reinforced plates. Oh, can we even build the thing from down here? Uh, let's see. That looks weird. Why did it make a sound? Oh, we just barely can see the thing here. Let's see if we can build it. Oh, yeah, we can. Just like that. The hitbox to place these things is quite small. Quite hard to hit from a distance. Almost like sniping some FPS. I wonder if there is a compilation of insane build shots people have done in the game. Trick building like 360 no scopes. <laughs> there we go. Let's go see. Where could we build these uh, smelters at? Could build it there. Yeah, make like an extension of this floor towards that direction. Or more like to a... Uh, oh. Just do an extension of whatever height this thing is at. So if we're dividing into three, we don't really need a load balancing too much. Yep. So, going to take one of those, place it on top of this foundation we have at the top. Then we take conveyor mark two, run that here, take mark one from there to here. So yeah, I don't think we, we need to be play building like a load, bal load balancer like this one. This one is balancing four belts into six foundries. Quite sure it's six. So yeah, we don't need to build like anything like this. Since we're only dividing into three. Like that. You can take all the caterium I have. Caterium and caterium. This will be doing 15 per minute, so we need to only mark one belt from here, so. But these will require 40. F yeah, so these can do. Mark one belts. Just like that. Then we need power. I'm just going to do one. One for now. Because those are only mark one belts. So we're definitely not getting. Actually. Well, let's see if we can fit two constructors there. Gonna need to move all these smelters a bit to the right, I guess. That's not too much of a problem. Actually, that might actually stay right there where it is. I'm starting to get kind of high. Don't look down, I guess. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, it's good enough. Oh shit. 
that looks awful. Get out of the shade. Okay, um, yeah, this looks awful. Let's see what we can actually do about it. After two more containers, I think, we need to start stacking these containers. Do we actually have the... Hmm. Oh yeah, we do have these. Kinda want to see if we... Can we like build a walkway here? And then if we build like a... Yeah. So this is pretty much what we will be doing at the point when we need to start stacking. We Started to learn a bit how to get down from there, easy. So this is nice. This is nice. That's five minutes, five minutes, three seconds. Um, oh, let's do all the quick ones that we can just do. Haha, <laughs> quick wire, quick ones. The wordplay. So when we get the smart splitters, then we can actually start making our awesome sink into the system. We can get the overflow out of our roundabout into the awesome sink. That's kind of the plan, what we're about to do. Was it 200 I needed? I wonder if it actually would start help us if we would be building walls wherever we can around the thingy. So we're not actually seeing all the all the belts all the time. Could help a bit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Just when I was saying that I think I've gotten the hang of how this thing works, I do stuff like that. Then we can go and take a splitter from all the way there. Take a lift. So this is the height. We want to get all of these to this one right here. This will also make it a bit easier to walk under there. So that's nice. Nice change too. No, oh, he's still standing on a box that's not really there. Or belt really. Um should be on that one right there. Can we even place it? Of course. Um. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice one. I need to. <laughs> be looking at what's actually correctly lined up. Hello. How are you doing? That animal doesn't seem to be caring at all that there's some belts on his way. So yeah, we have the first row of stuff for, um, completed, I guess. So now we could go and make the second stack of containers. Bam, research. And we have. So we need to make those. So let's see. This is the thing I want. So we need AI limiters, 10 of them. Let's see if we can make them. We have way more than we needed. Okay. 
So let's make those Blade Runners now. It's definitely starting to become a small of a slideshow when <laughs> I'm running around here. Still playable. Just not that smooth as it could be. Yeah, these are almost working. 100, I think. Yeah, somewhere like 80%. Or I think like... Yeah. Around 80-90% production or efficiency. So good enough for now, at least. What's going on here? Okay. That should help a bit. So... Is now finally the time to go and figure out the oil production. Might be. Or is now the time to figure out the um, smart splitters into this system. I also only want to use Mark 1 belts over here because I don't want to... Well, actually, I probably should use as fast belts as it can be. I'm going to just build it with Mark 1's... Go away. Most of these lines we won't be getting anything out of, since we're not producing enough to cause an overflow. But some of these we are. And also... It's a good idea to have it on all of the different lines, because then I don't need to be paying attention what we are actually producing with an overflow. So the system itself just knows what's produced overflow amounts, like those... Is that the only one we have here? At the moment it seems to be... Okay, that will work. Actually, let's just make these Mark III already. Like that. So we need to bring these further away, I think. So should we bring out the whole line of these further away, is the real question. Definitely would have been able to make it tidier, this section, if I were following this system when placing those smart belts, but I s placed them tighter than this. So that's kind of why we ran into issues in this section, but now it should be working kind of nice. Bit of a round trip, but it's good enough. So now we have... Basically all of, our, all of our excess materials coming in. And we can throw all of these here. Uh, we can also throw... Oh, it's good enough like this. And that's how it works. Looks kinda nice, doesn't it? So... Now we are producing some extra coupons that we can then use later on. Let's take all of our coupons and let's see what we can buy. Oh yeah, definitely want this. And maybe this. corner ramps. Yep. Like this. Oh, we do it like this. Okay. Now oh, it's fine. There's some other corners we would, would want to do that with. Well, here we need a new, new floor anyway. <laughs> How far in I want to do this?
I guess as far as I need to. Get out of my new platform. You're staining the new, newly painted surface. Yeah, at this rate I'll be... Yeah. <laughs> at this rate I'll be doing it all the way there too, so I guess I'm going to stop it here. <laughs> must stop. Yeah, probably need to. These low ramps are not really that useful for... Yeah. Need to use these steeper ramps and then it will work. To, no, I'm kinda interested that why aren't the... Let's see if any of these storage boxes are actually full. All of the plates and rods are full, and screws too. But we're still probably not using, like... There must be some machines that are waiting for these things to arrive anyway. So that pretty much means that we're not producing... ...enough of the item. So, this is kind of a good efficiency... ...indicator. This overflow splitter thingy. So, if we're not getting overflow of a certain item, we're either producing exact amount that we need of something, or that we're not producing enough. Only the items that come through here are the ones that are we have more than we are producing more than we need at the moment. It's really interesting that the we get overflow of the wires there, but we're still splitting wires here. If we had a faster belt here, we probably didn't get couldn't get any overflow there. Let's test it out, I guess. Uh, switch this to a Mark III belt. So if we can get store those faster, do we get any more overflow there? Yep, that's what I thought. Do you think we would have enough belts, or not belts, but beams? I'm thinking I could actually start upgrading all of the belts to mark trees. Definitely looks a lot better when they're all of those are they can happen there. Um definitely looks a lot better when everything is within this same style, so to say. Aha uh -huh. I don't need to do this thing with all of the belts. What is this? Part one. To see where's the slowdown for each belt. After getting everything here into a Mark III, I don't think we will be ever upgrading everything into a Mark IV. Because that would be kind of a waste of resources and time. There's plenty of items that we don't won't be producing enough for the mark trees already yeah, i think on this stream i want to complete this mark tree belt thingies into the roundabout and um we'll be working on into the oil tomorrow only 51 this time damn spent so much time doing this all this things so makes sense to do the all tomorrow I guess so the only way for us to get more steel would be to get those things running faster let's go check how they're actually running at the moment 
think there was some um, an inefficiency going on there. It could go potentially an overclock the coal and iron miners these are hooked up to. So all of these are 45 minutes. One, two, three, four, six. Yes. Do the calculations. Six times five equals oh no. we need to use this right 270 how do we get the percentage that we need well actually yeah we just um we need four and a half since we have four miners, we would need to up overclock all four of them to equal that half of a miner. See if we could actually go and do that. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, let's see if we can even support that amount with the belts we have here already. Let's do the calculation again. So, 45 times 6 equals 270. Two seven T divided by four sixty seven point five. So we would need to have all of these belts upgraded. Two seventy minus sixty one twenty one eighty would be the ninety. So yeah three mark ones and one mark two would be enough to deliver all the stuff how could we then split that evenly into all of the machines we do we would need to do more load balancing here let's try to prototype it i guess well actually yeah we can change the system there a bit but we we don't need to go back to four we can go straight back to six yeah so, from 3 to 6 is easy. And here we would have a Mark II belt into the overclocked miner, working as a 1.5. And, and out of this splitter, we would run belts. One for that, one for that, one for that. That seems to be a... No, wait. These are, these are correct. So this is the system we need. The iron we have only on two miners. Let's do it a bit differently here. So I assume first we would want to merge. So we get mark one there. Well, just do it this way. Got Mark 1s there. Then we get the faster belts merged. Now those are two. And then we just split this into two or four. So this will load balance two fast belts with two slow belts into four equally fast belts. And then these four equally. Do we need to? We don't need to go four. We can go straight to three or six. This is how we do it. All right. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's still some floating thingy. Get out of my. Where the fuck did that go? Okay, and this one going here. Now we should have it load balanced for coal. Looking real nice. Now 
we need to do the iron. I think I just counted it right. Let's see. Should be getting a hundred percent efficiency with these all these six machines now. Seems to be staying at a hundred. Now the thing is though, these bells won't be able to support us in a hundred. Wow, this is nice. And we still need to update that belt there. And that left. Like that. Uh, now we should be producing steel at 100%. 45, 44. Hmm. Although, it seemed like it stopped for a second. Let's see how these things are doing. Okay. Seems like everything's, at least on the coal side, everything's moving how they should be. Um, this doesn't seem to be a good thing. Let's see what's going on with this thing. I think I found the problem. Do we have a problem that we're not actually using enough to, enough of the steel? Oh, that seems to be a problem. That could help a bit. The only way I think at the moment how these could be Okay, these are dropping from 90 now too. So yeah, I think it's more about now that we're not using the steel fast enough than the actual limitation of the production in the first place. Yeah, that would make sense. Let's take a quick round through the factory and see how fast we should be using the steel. Actually, if we're not using it fast enough, then we should be getting some of the steel here. 240, 300, so this is already a higher than we're actually producing steel. 360. Let's see, check the belt. So that's the steel belt? Yeah, it is. So yeah, we are requiring steel faster than we're actually producing. Or we should be sh in shortage of steel. So yeah. I'll be ending it here pretty much. Um, at this point, of course, I can, of course, thank anyone who joined in for the stream. I'll be continuing tomorrow at 18 p.m. or 1800, 6 p.m. GMT 3 plus 3, GMT plus 3, same time as normally. And you can also check it in the schedule thing down there on the Twitch page if you do not know what that time is in your own time zone. 